Hey Stones, before you watch this video, I just wanted to give you guys a big thank you for watching this video. It took me so long to make it and I really hope you guys will enjoy it. I decided that I needed a bit of some more roleplay content on my channel. So I really, really, really hope you guys will enjoy this video. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys after the video. I had always dreamt of owning a pony. My parents had me in lessons since I was five. I had always tried to convince them to buy or lease me a horse, especially an American Quarter Horse. But I always, it was always so hard to convince them. One day they took me to a horse barn and I was amazed. They said, which one calls you? I was so happy but so confused. Was I finally getting a horse? Or was this a prank or some sort of just a day outing? They actually said it. We are buying you your first horse. Make a good choice. Yes, Dad! And there my adventure began. Training, jumping, flat, every discipline you can think of. I went to the barn every single day and I loved staying with my horse, but I couldn't decide on a name until it hit me. Wally! I will name him Wally. And there I went, finding my matching tack and outfit, bows and wraps. Dad, can we go outside with Wally? That was a reoccurring question. Sure, we can go ride him around the arena for a while. I led Wally down the cobblestone path, taking turns in hills, laughing and listening to silence. I mounted on and my dad recorded me walking and trotting around the arena. Dad, this is the best. Thank you so much for this horse. I was now almost 20. I still had Wally. He was still just a little young boy. When we had gotten him, he was only one. Barely even one. He is my favorite horse. I love his dapples and the coat coloring, and the mane and the tail. He's just my absolute soul horse. I don't know what I would do without him. I loved riding him, but I knew sometime soon we would have to retire him. He was getting old from jumping, and he was starting to get arthritis in his hips and back, which was terrible for Wally. I loved riding him and it was terrible to hear that he would be going soon. Yes, he was just a young horse, but the arthritis was getting so bad that it was hard for him to even go places. I loved riding Wally. You could tell his eyes, they just had something special. I always wiped off my shorts because I never knew when it would be the last time he would see me. I always panicked. I checked on his water. It was usually empty. Some of the hay was filthy looking. I just got so worried about him in the stable. I looked at his coat. I checked everything about him to make sure he was doing all right. I just didn't know what to do. I decided I would take him to the vet. Just, you know, to have a quick look at him. I thought that would be a good idea, but I don't think it was. The arthritis is so bad, we had to take him out jumping. I'm so sorry. It, it's okay. I, it's really what I was expecting. I was expecting for him to be done with jumping anytime soon, so I really understand. It was heartbreaking news for the family, especially me, since he was my only horse. I was so sad for weeks and weeks. I thought, well, this was my only horse. Would I ever get another horse ever again? He is my best companion. I was trying to talk to the vet, but she kept denying. I'm sorry, there is no way we can get him back into jumping. That's the only message I kept getting on my phone. Even then I would go and talk to her, but I couldn't. She would keep denying the fact that he had to be taken out of jumping. 
Jumping was my strongest sport with him, and I would not let him go out of jumping. I loved doing jumping. I was the best at jumping, better than flat, western, distress, and anything like that. I could not let this horse get out of jumping. I decided to go do some flat work with him that day. I was so stressed, I just, I just couldn't. The arena was a good hour or two away, so I had to go to the arena. The cosplay event was also starting, so there were people with their painted dragon horse all over the place. It was just so frustrating. It's okay, Wally. I know. We'll get there one day, buddy. We had finally made it back to the arena, and we were just trotting around, going over some flat poles. It was a very nice, casual, sunny day. The barn had plenty of light for us to be able to see through the windows, and the lights provided amazing light. There were a few low bars, but I wanted to try them anyways. They were just really low, so I could go over them at a little trot slash canter, but he did unfortunately bust a little of his hoof off, and he refused on one. I knew that his time out of jumping was here, so I just decided to let him go around it if he wants and just, you know, let him have some good casual time trotting around the arena and having some fun. That's what it's all about. It's not about him being able to do everything perfectly. It's just about him and I having fun together because that's all that matters in my book of riding with Wally because I knew that I probably wouldn't be able to get him into like the horse Olympics or anything like that crazy, but I just decided if he wanted to do some jumps, just, you know, kind of let him do some jumps or whatever he wanted to do around the arena. It's a really nice day, so I just decided to get him out to do some riding. And then when he reared, it was a bit scary because I thought it was going to fall off, but I put my feet in the stirrups and I just held on the reins. He was a bit spooked, I think, because there was a pigeon flying around in the barn. So, um, he did start to do a nice slow gallop, which, you know, woke, woke me up because I was a bit terrified. But it was all good. No one got hurt. He was just kind of having some fun around the arena. So, honestly, I didn't really mind as long as he wasn't causing any destruction. Um, I was all good with it. You know, I don't think... The arena had any problem with it. It happens probably all the time during shows, too. I finally got him to calm down, and I was super relieved about it. Mainly because um, Wally's a really good horse, and he never really bolts. So that was a bit concerning for me when he bolted. But, yeah, um, that's honestly my life with Wally. I really enjoy having him because he's my little precious baby boy and I love him. So yeah, if you guys liked my little writing story and my story with Wally, please be sure to like this video and give all the support to me and Wally's channel. I really enjoyed having you guys here to listen and thank you again. Toodaloo! Hey guys, I'd like to give you a big thank you for tuning into this video and premiere i really hope you guys like it i was super thrilled again to make this and the casting will be in the description and there will be a little clip at the end so thank you again to everyone who helped me do this video i was so happy and yeah well just thank you again and also for watching <laughs> toodaloo